guided natural rest. Now, I invite you to get as comfortable as, as possible, find a position that can comfortably support your body, either sitting or even reclining on a sofa. It doesn't have to be really erect, as long as it's comfortable and you can remain alert and relaxed. So take a moment to do the necessary adjustments. So you completely let go of the body and let it relax as deep as possible while attentively being alert and vigilant and present. Now I will invite you to leave everything that your mind was preoccupied, preoccupied with behind, just as if imagining a door, an imaginary door, and living everything, all the preoccupation of past and future, putting them in a backpack and living outside that door, just for a moment, for the next five, 10 minutes. Just take your time to do that. And now I would invite you to notice any other energies that still came in here with you into this present moment. Noticing any energies that might be trying to do this practice right. Notice any energies that would like to quiet the mind quickly. Notice any energies that really crave for peace, that peace of mind and calmness and serenity we read about in books or perhaps that we had experienced many moments such as in, in our travels or watching our children, listening attentively. There are so many portals to these quietudes of mind where it's no longer dealing with the past, nor projecting towards the future, but it is simply restful and present and in awe of life and living or death and dying. Whatever the miracle that the mind might be occupied and be in this relationship of awe and gratitude. Those moments are beautiful portals to the present moment. The present moment is simply a natural state in which we no longer contract upon past or future. It's an openness. It's a vastness. So this is, this is an invitation for a five minute natural rest, recognizing the restful nature that is already present always as a foundation everything that is arising and falling within our experience. We're going to start simply by a few deep breaths. Inhaling fully. Exhaling completely. Inhaling more alertness and presence. Exhaling any expectations, any tension, any preoccupation, any energies, and even the, the perfect meditator energy, 
Just letting go of that too. Just for a moment, simply being. So the invitation in this next five minutes, what does it feel like to simply be? And what does being feels like? What does existence feel like? Just exploring. Just noticing everything that is happening within the experience of now. So when we let go simply into being, we can notice our whole body becomes a perception mechanism. As if our whole body is listening, our whole body is feeling, our whole body is perceiving. So we can simply be for a moment just with sounds. What does it feel like just to be allowing sounds, whether it's ambient sounds or whether it's inner sounds. So when the mind becomes active, let it be just the sound that happens. Just by noticing is more than enough to, to step out of the trance of thinking simply awareness can disconnect and disrupt that merge that velcro with the content in our head another beautiful anchor just so you know if your mind gets busy and just simply pay attention to my voice or any other ambient voice present, ambient sound present. Or just pay attention to the natural breath, the organic flow of the breath happening. The breathing can only be right here, right now. It is never in the past, it is never in the future. And that's the beauty of it. So again, we're simply returning back to being with sound. When we're listening, there's, pay close attention, there's nobody there listening. There's simply perception that is happening and sound that is intimately interacting with that perceiving space as if the whole body is becoming a sensory, a sensory field Not just listening with our ears, but with our whole being. And not just listening to the sounds, but also to the silence or the lack of sounds. And what does the silence feel like? Does it have any qualities? Simply noticing. What does the sound of my voice feels like? Does it open up to any qualities within you?
So simply being with sound. Now I want you to notice if you can, the way we were trying to feel the sound, if you can feel the space in the room, just notice for a moment, how does this space in the room feels like? Is it cold? Is it spacious? Is it dense and cluttered? What does it feel like? Is it calm? Just noticing what the space in the room feels like. Simply being with space. And now try to notice if there is an inner and outer And what does tell me of that? Is there any boundary that tells me of the interaction of the body and the environment? What does it end? What does it begin? And what interprets that? What sensations are coming in to tell me about it? If my mind wouldn't interfere in direct experience what tells me about the boundary between the space in the room and the space inside my body. Again, coming back to the breath, if you're, if the mind is too active, noticing the breath will bring you back into the present moment. So back again with the question, what does it feel like to just be? So to be with the sound, to be with the space, to be with sensations, And what tells me about this aliveness? How does it feel? Is it located anywhere? Can I shift it? Can I move it around? Can I expand it? Can I contract it in any way? What does it feel? Where is it feeling? That feeling of presence, I amness, existence. Is it in my head? Is it in my foot? Is it in my chest? Or is it not localized in any way? But nevertheless, there is a presence. There is an alertness. There is a spaciousness. There is an aliveness. There is simply that. which is already peaceful, restful, and naturally so, unwounded, 
whole, sacred, serene, and differentiating, unmanipulating, simply is. Allowing everything exactly as it is. The beautiful and the ugly, the painful and the blissful. So simply a reorientation into what am I really? Am I my past and my future? Am I a my or me? Or separate at all from existence? Where is this me located? Does it really exist? Does it exist in moments of openness and awe? Does it exist in this natural peacefulness without any agenda? Be curious. Find ways to come out of your head and into the body. Live with the question, what am I really? Be very stubborn and persevere until the answer comes forth as the natural rest that you already are. Be still and all else will be added onto you. <laughs> One wise man had quoted once. <laughs> Take good care of yourself. Be curious. Inquire, meditate. Liberate everything that is preventing you to live from your heart. Much love.